Was that hard on your hands this, yeah, this time? It was. Ed Hollingsworth used to walk the halls in school. Now he and wife Marion walk the hall at UC San Diego's Moore's Cancer Center. He has a rare form of the disease that made him too fatigued to teach, even as a substitute. I love the kids. I had more fun with the kids. I love going to one, one school and the guy goes, oh, a sub, and this girl goes, no, he's a good sub, as long as you do your work. He made the difficult choice not to return to subbing because cancer treatment weakens his immune system and classrooms can be full of germs. I don't dare expose myself to all that anymore. But patients like him could be exposed to the flu at the facilities that care for them. The state wants 90 percent of a hospital staff to be vaccinated against the illness by the end of this year. But new data show nearly 200 California hospitals are not on track for that, including five in San Diego. Their obligation is to protect us. But the region's facilities are faring better than dozens in California. And San Diego is home to the hospital with the best vaccination rate in the state. My name is Megan Medina. I'm an infection control coordinator at Rady Children's Hospital. San Diego's Rady has 99% of staff vaccinated. Medina says that's possible because of a strict exemption policy. The county requires unvaccinated hospital employees to wear a mask while working. But they don't have to give any reason for declining. Rady only allows medical excuses, and the hospital verifies it. The employee has to meet with our occupational health department and go through, you know, a, a medical workup um, discussion to make sure that they truly met, meet our criteria. The San Diego facilities that didn't reach goal all allowed personal belief exemptions. Alvarado Hospital Medical Center has the lowest vaccination rate in the county at 78 percent. For the record, the worst in the state, an L.A. hospital, is 29 percent. Alvarado declined an interview, but Dr. Craig Wajo at Scripps Health says the problem is some staff get the shot elsewhere, but don't provide proof. If they don't send it to us, unfortunately, then we consider them unvaccinated. He pointed to physicians. A law designed to block corporate practice of medicine means doctors are licensed independent practitioners. Scripps Mercy Chula Vista is one of those not on track to meet the state's goal, but only by one percentage point. If you removed licensed independent practitioners from the equation, the rate among direct employees is one point over goal. I just don't think the numbers reflect accurately. A sharp facility in Coronado was also just shy of being on track. But a spokesman says it did a better job getting documentation from doctors this flu season, and the rate went up. Paradise Valley and Kindred Hospitals were each at 84 percent, but again, they declined an interview. For Hollingsworth, the retired teacher undergoing cancer treatment, the risk of getting flu at his hospital is lower than others. He receives treatment at UC San Diego Medical Center in La Jolla, which is tied for the second highest rate in the state. But his wife, Marion, worries for patients where more employees use their right to refuse the vaccine. I, re I respect that, but I also expect them to be concerned and respect our rights to not be exposed to something that could, you know, prove fatal. All of the San Diego hospitals under goal allow personal belief exemptions, but so do many of the state's highest performers. Still, County Public Health Officer Dr. Wilma Wooten says she wasn't aware local hospitals were permitting it. We reached her on video chat. That's something we need to explore and uh, determine why that is. But she says the county only requires employees to get a vaccine or wear a mask. So hospitals are free to enforce that how they choose. And there aren't any penalties if a facility doesn't meet the state's goal. A policy needs to be in place. But we are not telling people how to implement that policy. At the Hollingsworth home, the policy is get your flu shot. He and wife Marion asked their 26-year-old son to get it before coming home for Christmas. And when his son's bandmates stayed at the house for a recent show at the Casbah, he asked them to get it too. Hollingsworth says he knew going to the nightclub was risky, but he couldn't miss his son's show. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.